That's the dam for Big Sam Rayburn Reservoir in the Piney Woods of Deep East Texas. Something has happened at this lake this spring that's having an impact on the bass fishing in a good way. I'm going to tell you what that is coming up next because Fox Sports Outdoors is on the air right now. It's time for your weekly fishing reports and real-time outdoor news from the Southeast region. This is Fox Sports Outdoors. Big Sam Rayburn holds some very fond memories for me. I fished a couple of Bassmaster tournaments back in the 90s here and actually did well in both of them, cashed a check in both of those two tournaments. But oddly enough, I have not been back here since we started Fox Sports Outdoors in the early 2000s. So I'm really looking forward to the chance to get back out and do a little fishing on this big East Texas reservoir. It's got a lot of bass in it. Now, one thing that's happened, earlier this spring, East Texas received a bunch of rain. Sam Rayburn is a flood control reservoir by the Corps of Engineers. They hold flood water. Because of that, the lake's been high all spring long. I'm going to talk about what impact that's had on the fishing, and it's had a very positive impact in the long run for the bass fishing here at this lake. While we're out there doing that today, we're taking you around your local region for your fishing reports from our expert team of insider reporters, fishing reports from your local lakes, rivers, and bays. So right now, this bad boy, my Nitro Z20, gets launched down the boat ramp into Sam Rayburn. Next time you see me, I'll be out there right now. We get you started with your weekend planner back at the FSN studio. According to the Lunar Tables, the best fishing activity this weekend should take place in the early morning hours and again around dusk on both days. Expect the sun to rise at 6.40 and set at 8.09. In evenings, we'll feature a crescent moon that is 44% visible. We'll be right back with all of the current fishing reports from around the area. And I'll return on the Ask the Pro with Bassmaster Elite Angler Mike Iaconelli to answer a question about jig fishing. Back in a bit. Fox Sports Outdoors is brought to you by Tracker Boats. It's more than just a boat. It's a tracker. Costa Sunglasses. See what's out there. Mercury Marine, official outboard of Fox Sports Outdoors. And Lawrence Electronics. Find. Navigate. Dominate. Fish. Fish. Got him straight down in that bush. Come up. Swim off. Oh, got him there. All right, there's a little fatty for you right there. All right, welcome back everybody. Fox Sports Outdoors on the road at Sam Rayburn Reservoir today. And I caught one flipping. And that's just a good fat, look at the little belly on that little rascal there. Good fat hard fighter. And I want to show you a couple of things. Let's get you oriented to what's going on at Sam Rayburn. I mentioned something had happened. All this rain that we've had all spring long has pushed the water level way, way up. Now, we're going to pan the camera and I want to show you this. All back in there, literally almost as far as you can see is solid water. Normally, all those hardwood trees that you see right there are on dry ground. That's the shoreline. But now there's water for probably 200 yards back in there. These are button willows or buckbrush. Uh, I'm not enough of a plant guy to know the difference. But all these are normally in about two feet of water. Well, right now, they're in about seven feet, something like that. This lake's four or five feet high right now, and it makes a huge difference. So it's a real challenge because you've got literally hundreds of square miles of stuff that all looks fishy, but the fish are only in certain areas. And that is one of those button willows that's straight down under the surface. And I just let it go straight down in there with a big, heavy Texas rig. I'll show that to you at the end of the show. I got to pre-fish a little yesterday and I actually caught a few fish. I'm going to show those to you. Uh, on my little selfie camera here in just a little bit. Right now though, I'm gonna fish along this edge, see what else is happening and get you started with some fishing and lake reports. Hey guys, this week's report is brought to you by Vicious LED Lighting. You know, there's so many times in the outdoors where 
you need enhanced lighting over what Mother Nature offers you. You know, but you're backing your duck boat or your fishing boat down a dark ramp. Perhaps you're working on tackle before a blast off one morning or in unfamiliar territory on your ATV. Vicious has, has really answered all that with some incredible offerings that have a great price point, incredible warranty, the quality is wonderful. Uh, so check them out online at www.viciousledlighting.com and see what they have to offer. Guys, let's talk fishing in Tennessee and Kentucky. You know, uh, it's really good right now about anywhere you go. Um, from real foot in the extreme west to, you know, Norris in the extreme east part of Tennessee. Lake Cumberland over in Kentucky uh, is really good right now. Center Hill and Percy Priest in the middle of Tennessee, right in the middle Tennessee area, um, are two notable bodies of water that are, that are exceptional right now. Uh, the bass fishing and the crappie fishing. Um, you know, the, the bass fishing and crappie fishing are always good on the Tennessee River and on the Cumberland River. Uh, right now, they're, they're getting shallow. The water's coming up. It's not quite a uh, summer pool, but it's getting real close. So the fish are really getting around the bank. Uh, the catfishing should pick up any time now, just rocky areas that are uh, next to deeper water where they might stage. Um, you know, there's just not a lot that you can do wrong here right now. If you get here and you've got time to look for them, no matter what species you're looking for, you'll find them. So, uh, you know, we'd love to see you out here. We'd love to see you on the water. God bless. Hey, I'd like to show you one more way that you can catch these bass headed into late spring and into the hotter summer weather months. You can pull off main lake or secondary points and you can fish a Carolina rig, just dragging it along anywhere from five to 15 feet deep right on the ends of these points. And it's time right now to go to the selfie cam from yesterday and I'll show you one good fish off just such a point. This one hit my Carolina rig way out there. It's a good fish too. There we go. These fish have already spawned and they've moved back out on the outside of some little points and grass beds. And that's a good fish right there. That's a Carolina rig fish. Hit a lizard. And uh, just a solid five pound or so Sam Rayburn bass right there. You can see we're really out in the middle of nowhere. There's nothing out here pretty bald but there's just a few of those weeds up on top of the point that runs way out here in the lake and that's right where that fish was so we'll put him back hey if you'd like to stay where we stayed when you come to Sam Rayburn a great place to stay in the lower end of the lake is Rayburn Country Resort everything you need in one area they've got great lodging with condos a newly remodeled hotel Great golf course for a little extra diversion. Great restaurant. Everything you need on property. Here's the contact information for Rayburn Country Resort near the dam at Sam Rayburn Reservoir. It is a great place to stay. Give them a call at the contact info you see on your screen. There's one straight under the boat. There he is, got it. There is one, and I want to show you something different. Hey, welcome back to Sam Rayburn, everybody. Just a good largemouth bass swimming around out here. I want to show you behind. There's basically two different kinds of cover you can fish here. You can fish bushes. We talked about button willows and buck brush, and maybe one of the same thing. But then there's hardwood trees that are all flooded. And as long as they're flooded, the fish will get in them. The fish stay here shallow at Sam Rayburn pretty much year round, according to the locals, the guys that fish here all the time. Pine trees, sweet gums, cypress trees. But the deal is they really don't get on the pine trees for some reason, the soft trees. They like to get on these hardwoods and these are sweet gums right here. And that fish was just right out in front of that little group of trees that you see right there. So you can go around the outside of these trees and concentrate on the hardwoods, the ones that aren't the pine trees, and uh, either flip around the base of the cypresses, those sweet gums right there are willow trees. That's the other one. I've caught several fish off willow trees as well. So those three kinds of trees will all hold fish, especially if you can find them out on the outside edge closer to deep water. Let's get you some more fishing and lake reports for where you Hey folks, it's time for your Carolina's Report, brought to you by the Dead Dog Saloon, located on the Marsh Walk in Merle's Inlet. Open seven days a week for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. We're definitely a destination you need to put 
on your list to visit when you're in the Grand Strand area. Come visit us where it's always about the food, the view, and the music. Let's talk about the saltwater side of things right now. Coming out of that full moon that we've had this week, you can look for those bigger flounder to start moving into the inlets and on those nearshore reefs. Get out with a gulp right now on a 3 8 or a half ounce jig head. Fish it slow in those deeper holes where those fish are going to lay to ambush what little bit of bait is in the inlet right now. You can have a great time. Also, on the nearshore reefs, the weak fish have showed up. In South and North Carolina, get out there, target them with a jig right on top of structure. You're going to have a great time catching some three to five pound breeders that are out there. Also, on the offshore side of things, the guys up in North Carolina are having a great time with yellowfin tuna right now. Coming back after a half day trip, already limited out on these wonderful beasts. Get up there and book a trip in the Outer Banks area and have a great time with yellowfin tuna over the next month and a half. And also, down in South Carolina, Great times now. We got some good warm eddies coming off. The blackfin tuna, the dolphin, and the wahoo have showed up. Find those eddies. Go on the temperature breaks. Find the fish. You're going to have a good time right now. And grouper, opening up next week, we're going to be ready to get out there on those live bottom ledges with some good live bait and catch some big grouper this time of the year. This has been your Carolina's Report brought to you by Dead Dog Saloon. Remember, fish smarter, not harder, and keep your chaos organized. As I mentioned earlier, flipping and pitching right up in the middle of these button willows or buck brush like you see here is a prime way to catch them nearly all times of the year here at Sam Rayburn. And just to prove a point, we take you back to the selfie cam from yesterday, show you a couple of more nice fish that I caught flipping right up in the middle of bushes just like this one. Boy, I threw in that willow bush right in front of me. And another good one nailed it. Another chunk right there. Man, they are all in these bushes. Man, I tell you, once you, once you figure the pattern out, it is Katie bar the door right there, one right after the next. Good chunk right there. Good fish. Wow. Right in this willow bush right here. So water rises like this, you follow the water back, and that's where the fish are. Yeah, how about that? That's flipping one out of the thick stuff right there. Wow, <laughs> look at all that. Those are button willows, and man, I'll tell you, the only way to catch one out of them is they've got a trunk. You gotta flip it right down by that trunk and peel off line, let it go straight down, hop it a couple of times. But if you do that, one of those gets it. Wow. That's a better fish right there. That's what can happen when you flip a bunch of button willows. When you find a little spot that makes a little point, juts out, and the water's a little deeper on that outside edge, a lot of times that is where that will happen. That's a good, beautifully colored, dark gold looking Sam Rayburn bass for you right there. All right, back he goes. And we'll be back for more bass fishing at Sam Rayburn, Deep East Texas, right after this. Fox Sports Outdoors is brought to you by Academy Sports and Outdoors. Right stuff, low price, every day. Lose, fueled by passion, driven by innovation. Feel the difference. Gene LaRue and Bobby Garland Lures. With our baits, a good day of fishing is in the bag. And Strand Fishing Lines, the standard of dependability. Got him. Out that hay grass. Come out of that grass. Are you still on there? There he is. Unbelievable. I had strand 20 pound original. You don't have to have braid if you've got something as tough as original on there. I uh, got him. Oh. <laughs> well, we had to shorten that a little bit because that took a while. And, uh, let me explain to you the next, about the next kind of fishing that you can do here. It's this. The locals here call this hay grass. What it is, it's a bunch of real tough grass that grew up when the lake was down for so long. And there are just acres and acres of it. And uh, you can flip in it, you can flip holes in it. You can fish the outside edge of it. You can fish along the inside edge of it. 
But as long as this water's up at this level and three, four feet high, then this hay grass is still gonna be out in deep enough water and you can fish it, especially early and late. And then when the sun's bright up overhead like it is right now, they'll bury up right in the middle of it and you've got to pitch and flip right into it. In fact, I'm coming across a bunch of it right now. So we're gonna put this fish, you can see the hay grass right there. Put this fish right back in that grass where he came from. And there's the grass. And you get to go for some local fishing reports from lakes, rivers, and bays near you. This part of the program is brought to you by Miralure, the right tools to catch them. From topwater plugs to subsurface models to deep running lures like the deadly heavy beam. Turn on the bite anytime. Tie on a mirror lure. Well, you gotta pick your days because the wind can be really a problem along the coastal south. But uh, when the wind's not blowing real hard, Captain Charlie Gray over in Dolphin Island, Alabama, tells me the fishing there has been just great, but you've gotta find clear water for trout. Charlie says that the trout are still in a, a spring pattern, which means that they're feeding on li uh, live shrimp or shrimp imitating lures underneath popping corks. He's catching them at the river mouths and on flats. Charlie also says that the red fishing has been good in the marsh areas around Dolphin Island and some flounder are beginning to show up and he's catching those on bull minnows around rock piles and rubble. He says king mackerel are trying to get going around the oil and gas rigs near shore, but again you got to pick those days when the wind's not blowing. In Georgia, Captain Greg Hildreth tells me that the fishing for whiting has been outstanding. They're in 12 to 15 feet of water, he's catching them on cut squid baits in the open sound areas. Captain Greg also says the triple tail are showing up along the beach. That's sight fishing for cruising fish, and some bigger fish are available sometimes around the channel markers. Some of those triple tail this time of year can go 10 or 12 pounds. Those are nice triple tail on grade eating too. Captain Greg says that the trout fishing has been pretty good in shore. Most of those fish are being caught in three to five feet of water. This week's Alabama, Georgia, and Mississippi freshwater fishing update is brought to you by Lake Gunnersville, Alabama. Boasting 69,000 acres of clear blue perfection, the area offers hotels, lakefront cabins, public boat ramps, and restaurants. If you prefer big fish in a big pond, Gunnersville is the right destination. www.fishgunnersvillelake.com In Alabama, you may still find some bass bedding on Lake Martin in the central part of the state, but regardless, you're likely to find the large mouse in the shallows along the shore this week. Good lure choices are plastic lizards and pumpkin seed or tilapia color patterns. Now the water level's rising on this 44,000 acre clear water lake, so you won't find those fish in the same place very long. The spotted bass are also hitting those plastic lizards on the reservoir, but expect to find those out in deeper 12 to 15 feet of water. The crappie action continues strong in northeast Mississippi on Pickwick Lake this week. Anglers are catching the fish by trolling in the Yellow Creek arm of the impoundment. They're using jigs and grubs or even small crankbaits to fool these slabs. And the Lake Seminole on the Georgia-Florida border is the state's best major impoundment for red ear sunfish. These shell crackers are over sandy bottom near grass beds right now. A earthworm fished on ultralight will make these fish fun to catch. One pound fish are not rare here. Be sure to join Fox Sports Outdoors again next week, Thursday night at 6. Or catch the repeat airing Sunday morning at 8.30. And you can always watch the latest episode in full HD on the front page of our website at foxsportsoutdoors.com. Plus, catch up on all past episodes by clicking the archive button. And see lots of how-to and product videos by clicking the how-to button. Also, stay up to date with the latest fishing news, videos, and photos by clicking the follow button on our Twitter feed. And get lots of that same info by clicking the like button on our Facebook page. Fox Sports Outdoors is brought to you by Exide AGM Marine Batteries. Starts like new, stays like new longer. Motor guide trolling motors, because accuracy matters. And Nitro Performance Fishing Boats. Champions aren't born, they're made. Welcome back everyone. It's time for the Ask the Pro question. This week, Jim asks, when do you cast a jig rather than flip it? We found the 2006 Angler of the Year, Mike Iconelli, for the answer. The question is, when do you cast the jig versus use a pitching or flipping technique? You know, the flipping technique is a super up-close technique. Um, when you're within five feet of the boat, it's a flipping technique. Pitching is a different technique, a little bit further out. That gets that five to ten foot zone. But when you have to get away from the fish, that's when you're going to use the casting technique. 
great example of that would be fish in deep water and clear water where you can't get close to them. Most of the time you're going to use a casting technique. The key for me is to use all three techniques, present the bait the right way, and you're going to maximize your fish. Thanks, Mike. If you have a question for one of the anglers, visit our website, follow the Ask the Pro link on the right side of the page, and send it in. Now one lucky viewer wins a new pair of sunglasses on the Costa Catch of the Week. Every week someone wins a free pair of Costa sunglasses here on the show in the Costa Catch of the Week contest. I'll tell you how to enter momentarily, but first, here is this week's winner. She is Tammy Rector of Hidden Knight, North Carolina, showing a 16-pound striped bass she caught at Lake Hickory in North Carolina. If you'd like a chance to be our next winner, just go to our website at foxsportsoutdoors.com. The right side of the front page is everything you need to enter. Send us your photo. You could win a brand new pair of Costa sunglasses, and you can see all of the Costa frame and lens styles at their website. Just click on the Costa logo from the front page of our site. You can see all of the great 580 lenses and all of the fantastic frame styles there, including the frame style I was wearing on this week's episode. It's called Cat K. On the Academy Right Stuff, gear is very critical. If you're gonna be flipping and pitching around all this thick cover, like we were catching the bass out of on this week's episode. So this gear begins with the brand new Loose TP1 Speed Stick Rod Series. It's the white rod series with the wind grips, the microwave guide system, fantastic rod. This is a seven and a half foot heavy action rod to get these fish out of here in a hurry. Got it equipped with the Loose Speed Spool LFS, the best $99 bait cast reel on the market. Got all the features of some more expensive reels, but for a much more affordable price. The line is critical. I was using 20 pound test, strand original line. You can also use strand braid if you'd like to. You've got to have heavy line to get those fish out of this heavy cover. And then I want to show you the bait that I was using. This is a Texas rig and it begins with a heavy one half ounce worm head weight. Then I've got a four aught offset worm hook and I was catching a lot of these fish on a Jean LaRue biffle bug, kind of a watermelon or a pumpkin color like you see there. In 1960, MIT meteorologist Edward Lorenz invented the butterfly effect. The principle goes something like this, that a tiny little puff of wind equivalent to what a butterfly's wings would give off, when multiplied over thousands of miles and lots of time, have a profound effect on the atmosphere and on weather. In fact, the meteorologist figured out that they could trace the origins of hurricanes back to small puffs of wind if they go far enough back in time. Makes me think of the seemingly inconsequential decisions that you and I make every day of our lives. They may seem small right now, but when multiplied over time and distance, they can have a profound effect on our family, friends, people we don't even know. Those choices can literally change the course of destiny. Sam Rayburn Reservoir is truly a jewel in deep east Texas loaded with largemouth bass. And I think you'd have a great time if you decided to make a trip here. And hopefully we taught you a few things about a few techniques that you can use catch a few bass of your very own. I'll meet you right back here next week on the show. Until then, I'm Barry Stokes. Be safe, have fun. Bye-bye, y'all.